Hey everybody, old school dirt biker, out on the road late Sunday afternoon, having to make a red box run to take a movie back. Wanted to give the review on it, one I've been wanting to see for a while, wanted to see it when it was out at the movies, but didn't do it. Cost too much, waited to come out on red box, got it for a dollar and fifty cents or whatever it costs. I got a big TV, I can watch it on anyway. Anyway, the movie was... Quentin Tarantino's Hateful Eight. Well, Quentin Tarantino is an acquired taste, as everybody knows. Some of you probably hate him, some of you probably like him. I've always liked most all of his stuff. Uh, definitely an acquired taste, like I said, but he's a he's an East Tennessee boy from up in the mountains. And uh, he always mentions some reference in his movies to Tennessee. And Samuel L. Jackson, he's another Tennessee boy, always mostly puts in his movies. He's from Chattanooga. Kurt Russell, uh, Bruce Dern's in it. Uh, he was in the Cowboys, John Wayne's nemesis in the movie Cowboys, one of my all-time favorite movies, where he had the kids and trained them to go on the cattle drive. <laughs> but uh, this movie is definitely uh, an adult movie. If you don't like blood and gore, you might not want to watch it. It's not, it's, it's, it's not nothing, whatever, X-rated or nothing like that. It's just, you, if you've seen Quentin Tarantino movies, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, it's definitely, definitely not for any kids to watch whatsoever, which any of his movies ain't. But I had to go see it. The main reason I wanted to see it was because Jennifer Jason Lee was in it. And anybody that that graduated high school in the 80s, 86, and watched the movie when it came out in 1984 with Jennifer Jason Lee, uh, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, it is the movie, one of the movies, if not the top movie of my generation. That and a few others, Back to the Future, a few other things. But, but Last Times at Ridgemont High was definitely a coming age movie. Her, Phoebe Cates. Who can forget Phoebe Cates and Fast Times at Ridgemont High? Jess Piccoli. The whole, the whole bunch. Yeah, a lot of people like that movie or hate it. It's, it's kind of both ways. But I grew up on it and I really liked it. I like all kinds of movies. Anything westerns, not a great big comedy movie guy. Some, some are all right. I like dramas, and things like that. Sci-fi, I'm a sci-fi nut. I can't, can't help it. I grew up on a, grew up on watching Star Trek reruns when I was a kid. It would come on on the weekends on the local channels, and and I watched every one of the Star Wars movies. Or Star Wars, Star Trek with Spock and Captain Kirk and all of them. It just, just something that's embedded on me. Whatever you watch when you was a kid, it's what you like most of the time. Whatever cartoons, whatever Super Friends cartoons, Saturday morning cartoons, the whole, whole nine yards. You like what you like because that's what you grew up. You grew up in the '60s. If you grew up in the '90s. You like Full House and all that stuff. Whatever. But I just wanted to give a late afternoon ride and a review on the Quentin Tarantino. I really liked it, that 70 millimeter Panavision like they filmed Gone with the Wind. And uh, uh, Ben-Hur, uh, trying to remember. It's in the special bonus features of the movie. You need to watch that, how they filmed that and, and use that. There's only been like six movies ever made in that format like he made that movie in and the vistas when they're riding in the trail in Colorado up in the snow and the vistas they use in that movie is just it is beyond this it's it's the coolest thing you've ever seen the ultra wide vision it, it's worth seeing the the uh, the ride through the Colorado mountains in the wagon is worth worth the rental of the movie but I just wanted to give you my review 
I am like Roger Siskel and, or Siskel and Ebert. Two thumbs up. I give it two thumbs up. I liked it. So I knew I'd like it going in. It didn't matter. Give it a try if you haven't seen it. Uh, good to see everybody. Tanker Man, just to let you know, I didn't get to ride this weekend, but I got my bike serviced and ready, cleaned up. My KTM, I'm going to try to ride, try to ride 40, 50 miles next weekend. Hopefully, try to get ready for the big Louisiana showdown. So, me and you can have it out this fall. But I'm glad everybody, I hope everybody had a good Memorial Day week. I've been off all week. I took the whole week off. We're a week past Memorial Day, but got to go back to work tomorrow, and I sure, sure hate it. <laughs> it's it's going to be rough tomorrow night when I get back to work. But I'll let y'all go. Talk to you later. This is old school dirt bike ride on the road, and I just crossed back into Tennessee. Look how good the roads are once you get back to where we live. And I rode the whole time with my blinker on talking to y'all. <laughs> I hate this, this not turning off the blinkers. But I'll talk to y'all later. Old school dirt biker out.